The Makana Media is more than just an affirmative business enterprise. The company runs itself so that it can be entirely eco-friendly as possible, much like any life cycle found in nature. The sawmills used to make the beehives are run on biodiesel, which is also produced on location at the meadery. Well, he runs the, the sawmill producing the wood, so this is actually quite nice. Got <laughs> the man that makes the wood and the man that makes the beehives in the same room. The workers who make the beehives are part of a Gadra initiative to teach skills and train disadvantaged members of the community. The beehives, which produce some of the honey for the mead, are then looked after and maintained by blind and partially sighted beekeepers, who also stem from the Gadra initiative. Company co-founder Dr. Garth Cambray explains the importance of bees and their role in producing oil. If you, if you look at this flower, and after the bees have visited it, the product of that will be seeds. And inside every seed is a little bit of oil. And that oil, in the case of something like a sunflower, can be used to produce biodiesel. Um, in the case of an aloe, it just looks nice. Okay, all our equipment, including this forklift and the sawmill over here, basically run on biofuels that we produce at Makana Meadery. Old cooking oil and other bio-friendly products like cow and ostrich fat are then turned into biodiesel, which can be used by the meadery. The whole process is then repeated again, much like a well-oiled life cycle. Dr. Cambra explains the significance of biodiesel. Um, it, you know, it traps a lot less um, carbon. I mean, it, it requires a lot less carbon to be released into the atmosphere to produce the biodiesel. If you, if you do it properly, it shouldn't release any additional carbon into the atmosphere because it's just fuel which is coming straight from, um, straight from the atmosphere and it's going into the plant temporarily and then it gets turned into oil and you burn it, it goes back into the atmosphere and another plant takes it and turns it into more oil so you get that whole cycle going. The Makana Meadery has proved itself as a well-functioning business that is also wary of its environment. <laughs>